Hi, in this video you're going to learn how to use the Move tool and the Alignment options. OK, so let's dig in. My name is Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. Now the Move tool, uh, as the name suggests, it's for moving stuff. Now, a couple of things I just want you to check first before we get into the tutorial, and that's up here in the tool options bar for the move tool. You can see I've got the move tool selected, and I can do that by just clicking on it there or pressing V on the keyboard. But we'll have a little box called auto select, and I want you to make sure there isn't ticking that. And that this little drop down here is set for layer. That done, we're good to go. OK, you can see here now that I've got a set of six layers and each layer consists of a little piece of paint with a number on. And I've just got that set against a white background. So if I turn the background off, you'll see there it's transparency everywhere, but where the paint is basically on the numbers. So I'll just put that back. It just makes it a little bit easier to see. Now I've got layer four selected. This is this is the active layer number four. So I've got my Move tool selected and I can do that by clicking there in the toolbox. It's the top tool in the toolbox or I can press V on the keyboard. And then I'm going to click and drag number four and it moves it. Yay! Absolutely brilliant. But then I go, well, I want to move number three now. So I'll go to number three. Oh, it's moving number four again. And I'll move number one and it moves number four again. So whatever I do, it moves number four. And this is because of the, def the default action of Photoshop is it only moves the currently active layer. So if I now click on number three layer to make it active, I can now move number three. But if I click on anything else, it will always move number three. Now, how can we make this a little bit more efficient? Well, we can use a modifier key. Now this modifier key is Control on Windows or Command on the Mac. And, and what we've got to do is we have to click where there is pixels. So if, if I just show you this, like here, there are no pixels. So if I click, it'll make no difference. I have to click where there are actual paint pixels. And if I hold the Control key down or Command key on the Mac and I click on the number one, you'll see that in the layers panel, number one becomes active so I can move it. And if I want to move number four, again, if I hold the control key down and click, number four becomes active and I can move number four. So that's a little trick that may save you a little bit of time. Now, another option is to let Photoshop do the figuring out for you. And this is where we can use the auto select option. So I'm going to go up to the tool options bar at the top and you see this little tick box here. This time I'm going to put a tick in it. I'm going to click it. And now when I come back into the composition, anywhere I click, Photoshop will first examine the pixel underneath the click. So if I click number one, yeah, it'll move number one. And you can see number one becomes active in the layers panel. And I can click number two and that'll move. And I can click number three, that'll move. So whichever suits your workflow, you can either use a modifier key of control and click to first select the layer before you move it, or you can have auto select ticked and that basically will let Photoshop do the, the hard work for you. Now let's have a look at the alignment options. Now the first thing to know is that to align objects, they must be on separate layers. Um, Photoshop is good but it can't align a layer with itself. It has to align it with something else or the content on the layers with something else on another layer. Now, another little tip here is that if we've got these layers here that are all um, the, the little eyeball, the view eyeball is, is active. If I want to view something just on one layer, then I could, if it was layer six, let's say I could turn all these layers off individually like this and then turn them all back on again individually like that. That really though is is pretty tedious and if you've got 100 layers well it's just plain balmy. And balmy by the way it's not an Adobe technical term. 
it's a Barnsley expression for rather tedious. Anywho, I digress. Another option, we can drag across the visibility eyes. So up here I could drag right down there quite quickly and then I can drag back up again, again. And that's pretty good. But what happens if it was number one? I'd have to drag above and then I'd have to drag below. And well, that's just pure barmy. And that's worse than normal barmy, actually. Well, not wanting to be accused of being totally barmy, Adobe gave us a third option. And here again, we can use a modifier key. And this modifier key is the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on a Mac. And if I hold the Alt key down here and I click on the eyeball of the layer that I want to see, it switches all the other ones off. And then if I click again, it switches them all back on again. So if I was wanting to look at number three, Alt, click on the eyeball, click on the eyeball again, and it brings it back. Now in Barnsley, we'd call that right gradely that. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at alignment. Now at the moment, the alignment options are up here in the tool options bar for the move tool. You can see it's these here, but they're all greyed out. We can't actually use them at the moment. And this is because, like we said earlier, we've only got one layer active. So we've got to select all the layers that we want into a line. So let's click on number six and I'll shift click on number four at the bottom. So now I've got them all selected and you'll see the alignment options suddenly spring into life. Now let's have a look at the first three. We've got a line to the top, we've got a line to the center, and we've got a line to the bottom. But you might ask yourself, well, aligning with the top, middle, and bottom of what? Well, it's actually, Photoshop will actually look at the topmost item and the bottommost item. So in here, we'll, we'll be looking at number two and number five. So if we try a line to the top first, what will happen is it'll align to the top, everything to the top of number two. So let's just try that and see if it works. So I'll click on that one. And you'll see now they're all aligned, although you can't see the number two because it's been covered up, but they're all aligned with that number two. Now I'm going to press Control and Z or Command and Z on a Mac just to undo that. And then we'll try align the center. Now align the center, what it will do is it will look at again the uppermost center and the lowermost center, and it will find the middle between those, not the document, but between the two objects that are furthest apart, basically. So if I click on that now, you'll see they've all aligned to that center. And you'll see that it's not the center of the document, it's the center of where those two furthest apart were. And then the same we've got as the line bottom. What this will do is it will look for the, the furthest one down and it will align everything to the bottom of number five. So let's try that. There we go. Now let's look at the second three and the, exactly the same applies. What we've got is a line with the left edge, a line with the center and a line with the right edge. So let's try aligning with the left edge. And what's that going to do? Well, again, it's going to look for the leftmost item. Well, this is going to be number six, and it's going to align everything with number six with that left hand edge. So if we click that, you'll see everything snaps into line with the edge of that number six. OK, we'll do the centers. And then we'll try right hand edge. And this time, it's going to find number five. So we're going to align everything with that number five edge. There we go. All aligned with the edge of this number five, which was the furthest to the right. OK, next we've got the distribute options. And this is basically working out how to evenly space things. So let's start off by doing a center alignment on these. So we'll do a vertical center alignment. And now we're, we're not evenly distributed. We're aligned, but we're not distributed. So now what we can do is we can go to this one here. You can distribute by the top, the middle, or the bottom. And this you can do, you can do it from the edges as well. But for this exercise, we'll just align by the centers of these squares. 
and what this is going to do is it's going to take the top one and the bottom one and it's going to shuffle everything else in between to distribute it so that they are distributed evenly so let's have a go at that we'll just give that one a click and there you have it number two and number five didn't move but what it's done is now distributed evenly everything else in between well all right that about wraps up our little chat about the move tool and the alignment options i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment under the video and please click that subscribe button and become part of my photoshop learning community I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.